Hi. <laughs> I am so happy today because it was the last day of my first semester in vet school. Finals, everything, done. I am finite. <sighs> so yeah, I'm like, oh. <laughs> and um, we also had this like little Christmas party among like the three good friends I have at school now. And so we decided to like, three people bought the fourth person a present. So each got one present. And the present I got is called Twilight Turtle. <laughs> so I named him Jasper. I had to do it. Um, so, he's a turtle, but on his shell has like stars. And so, it actually shows up like different constellations when you turn them on, it projects onto like your ceiling. And he has green, amber, and blue. He's just really cool. I was playing with him earlier and just going, Anyway, um, another thing that I found out at vet school today is that I've been helping out at the raptor unit on campus, which basically is birds of prey. So we have like vultures and owls and hawks and stuff. And I found out today that I'm a co-chair, which means I'm one of the people who help run the unit now. Um, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And it reminded me, because... This is my last day in rotation and feeding, and I was feeding a barred owl named Banff. We have a pretty silly school. And, um, speaking of owls, that reminded me that I have this. Owl Flight by Mercedes Lackey. It's one of the books in that series, and this is just a first edition copy. It's not signed. But I happen to really like this series, and I like first edition copies when they're hardcover. So, I have that. I will have another Mercedes Lackey book later on to show you guys. Like I said, another one later on. But right now, I want to talk about the fact that a couple of weekends ago, I went to an event we have here in Louisiana. And it's not just Louisiana who has it. It's just that's the one we have. It's called the Louisiana Renaissance Festival, also known as RenFest, for like a nerd, geek type nerd fighter like me. It's freaking awesome! Because they have jousting, and they have like the Queen's Court with the Queen, and you have to actually curtsy to her. And she made me go on a privy run one year, so that was kind of funny. Um, and they have falconry, and they have still like steak on a steak. <laughs> and yeah, it's just cool. I actually bought my katana there a couple of years ago. So, it has very fond memories. Because it's just something my friends and I have been doing for a few years now. And last year I bought a soprano ocarina. It's a tiny thing. And this year I went ahead and got the alto ocarina. It has six holes. So, um, this is known as an English pendant ocarina. As opposed to the sweet potato ocarina that Link plays an ocarina at a time. However, I tried that at Renfest this year, and I didn't really like it. I don't like the sound quality of the ones that I played. Maybe it's just because that's the way they were manufactured. I don't know, but Link, I don't like your ocarina. Please don't hurt me. Um, anyway, so this past week, I've been trying to just fiddle with it, because I actually play clarinet and saxophone, and that's different with the air quality and the fingerings and stuff, because I'm used to this and not this. So, um, and the breath control is different too. But I've been giving a go at the ocarina. And I bought two songbooks when I bought this one. I bought, of course, a Zelda songbook that has all the different ocarina tunes from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. That's pretty cool. But I also bought, like, a classic rock one, which is mostly Beatles music. So I've been playing Beatles on the ocarina. Because we all know how I love them Brits. So, um, I'm going to try playing a bit of Ocarina for you guys, if y'all don't mind. And I'm not going to tell you what song I'm playing until after I play it. So let's see if you can guess it while I'm playing it. Let's give this a go.
attempt at Eleanor Rigby. I'm still working on it because it's all tabs and I haven't really got the breath control for the ocarina yet. It's a work in progress. <sighs> but I am working on it. Woohoo! Because I like the ocarina. <laughs> um, anyway. So, I did mention that I have another look I want to show you guys. Is also Mercedes Lackey. And for those of you who don't know, the illustrator Larry Dixon is actually Mercedes Lackey's husband. So it's like a husband and wife team, which is pretty cool. And this book is one of my favorite books called Brightly Burning. It's a standalone. It's not part of any, like, any of her trilogies or anything. But it's one of my favorite books she ever she's ever written. And I bought this one myself. Hooray for the power of eBay. Yeah. What's really cool is that not only is signed by Mercedes Lackey, it's also signed by Larry Dixon. You see? You see? That's two signatures. Oh. This would make me happy. <laughs> so, um, yeah. This is the last night I'm spending in this apartment for at least until after Christmas, I think. Yeah. That's weird. So, um, I won't be back making videos until probably after Christmas. So you guys have a very Merry Christmas, and in case I don't see you, have a Happy New Year too. Till next time. Bye.